Hey, I'm Nick, and today I'm going to show you how I take a single frame from a video and turn it into a stylized cinematic still using Luminar Neo. This video was shot right here in Miami Beach during sunrise, and I felt like this video would make a really nice image. So I went ahead and took this screenshot from the video, and now I'm going to show you how I enhance it to really make it come to life. So let's jump in and I'll walk you through my full process. The first thing we want to do is bring back some contrast. As you can see, this image is pretty flat, pretty desaturated straight out of camera. So I like to go over here to the develop tab. And what I'm going to do is just slightly brighten the exposure. to let's say about here, then I'm going to add some smart contrast. Maybe something around here looks good. Then I'm going to lower the highlights probably all the way down to just bring out some more detail in the highlights and just darken the shadows a bit. That way the image looks a little more contrasty as you can see there's the before the after and then we'll play around with the blacks and whites too just to further enhance this look so i'll bring down the whites to minus five we'll probably bring down the blacks to to around negative 25 looks good as you can see the colors are already starting to pop a lot more because as you lower brightness saturation increases all right so that's it for the develop tab next i like to go over here to enhance ai and we're just going to boost this up a bit so probably bring this up somewhere around 20 and then sky enhancer we want to push this one up a little bit more maybe around 72 looks good this is the before and this is the after already the image is starting to pop way more now we can go over here and try and go to relight ai and just play around with it and see what cool effects we can get so brightness near since the sun is over here and i'm kind of in shadow silhouetted i'm going to lower the brightness near to kind of further this contrasty effect and then brightness far we're just going to enhance that again so we'll bring this one up 20 so we darkened what's closer, brightened what's further away. And now I like these colors, but I just want to enhance them a bit more. All right, so we're going to scroll down over here to color. Then we're going to go to the HSL tab. So what we want to do is bring orange down a bit towards red. It's very subtle, but you can see the image looks very yellow right now. And now it looks more warm. And then what we can do is just bring up the yellow slightly. I feel like that looks a little more vintage, which is the look that I'm going for. Now let's see, now we can go over to vignette and we can reduce the vignette maybe by about like 25, just to kind of soften those edges and draw your eye towards the center of the image. And already this is looking amazing. I think lastly, what I want to do is add some film grain to just polish up the look. All right, found it. Film grain is right here. And we don't want to overdo the film grain. Probably just around 10 should be good. As you can see, it just adds this nice texture to the photo. So without the film grain, with the film grain, it might be hard to see with YouTube's compression, but it definitely enhances the image on my end. All right, and I think that's it for this image. As you can see, here's the before. Image looks super flat, washed out, not a lot of color. And we brought all of that color back in, the contrast, the saturation, the filmic grain. And this looks like a complete image worthy of posting. And that's it. Turning a single video frame into a stylized still is honestly one of my favorite ways to repurpose footage and create something new. Big thanks to Luminar Neo for making this process super simple. And if you want to try it out yourself, grab a frame from your next video and start experimenting. Don't forget to subscribe for more creative breakdowns like this, and I'll catch you in the next one.